My name is Katarina Tolk and I was born in San Bernardino, California. I was raised in Shelton, Washington. I'm a certified peer counselor and I work with Mason Health. My role as a peer counselor would be to help people in recovery and support them. We also help with mental health as well through lived experience, also with the addiction side. And we are here to help people self-advocate and help them in their recovery journey and be a model to recovery. Now that I've been off the drugs for seven years, I, I have been so much happier. After I had my son, I was prescribed, I believe at the time when perk 30s were actually perk 30s. Once it starts, sometimes it just doesn't stop. You just wanna feel better. You wanna keep doing what feels better. And once those pills were out, I was like, oh my gosh, I gotta find more. You know, I gotta figure out what I can do to get more. And then the drinking came into play. I drank very heavily on the weekends. I was still functioning, I was still being a mom, but at the same time, like, I wanted to do whatever I had to do to feel good and feel okay. Then I met the father of my younger two children. And at the time, I didn't really notice that there was an addiction there. You know, he would talk about it every once in a while. And I didn't ever think that it was as big of an issue as what it was, you know, because I met him, I met him when I was eight months pregnant with my first baby. When I found out I was pregnant, I was like, oh my gosh, I'm so excited. He's gonna be such a good dad. And he is still a really good dad. Uh, but the relationship wasn't healthy at all. One day he came home and he had heroin with him. And I was like, well, I wanna try that. I wanna see what's so special about it. How come you're never home with your kids, you know? Um, how come you're never home with me? What is so important about this drug? From that moment I took that first hit, I couldn't stop. Like, I just could not stop. I was a closet user. Like, I didn't want people to know that I was doing these things, you know? Because it's kind of shameful, in a sense. You know, I'm a mom. And I mean, even if I wasn't a mom, it's still, it would still be pretty shameful. I mean, I was still working while I was doing all of this. I actually worked I delivered pizza and I remember that I would just do enough to at least like get me through my shift so I wouldn't get sick or anything like that. Finally one day I went to work and I came home and I went downstairs and he was hunched over high as a kite while my kids are upstairs playing by themselves and I just this thought in my head was like what if, I, what if they would have came downstairs and saw that, found their dad like that? Once I found that, I was like, either my kids are gonna have a clean mom or they're not gonna have clean parents at all. And it was hard, you know? And I told him, I said, you can either get clean or you can leave. And he left. I don't think where I, I would be where I'm at right now if I would have never stopped, you know? And I'm super thankful for my job. I am super thankful for my kids because they are my number one reason in life. Everything I do, I do for them. If you or anyone you love is struggling with substance abuse, please feel free to reach out to me at any time. I am more than happy to help no matter what. Don't be scared to reach out and I will answer and we will get you the help that you deserve. The phone number I have for my work cell phone is 360-485-2513. I want to keep helping. I want to keep loving people. I want to show people that they deserve, deserve love and help and support. And I will keep doing what I have to do. Even if they don't want to answer their phone, I'll still leave a voicemail and be like, I'm still here for you even if you don't want to answer me. You know, you have that choice. The number's there.